Oh my goodness. So Tim is just cranking out the content today. So I'm going to make sure that I definitely speed him up a little bit faster. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I get good connection with my wireless. It seems to want to move around. So yeah, uh, let's just get into this one. Uh, make sure I, this is Ray. This is Life and Vibe. And I'm on a seven day challenge to watch and comment on all of Sarasota Tim's con content. And uh, he and I are in different uh, time zones in the United States. So he gets his content probably at a reasonable hour where he is. And for me, it's starting to get into the nighttime. And I had a bit of a slow start today just because I have a lot going on. So let me just put out my uh, fair use disclaimers because we're just going to jump into this video straight away because it's a long one. Hopefully he won't get me too heated in this one like the one earlier today. Goodness me. Ended up being much longer than I wanted. And obviously, this is just for entertainment purposes. Though I am a registered nurse here in the United States, trained to be a nurse practitioner. I'm not training or diagnosing anybody. I'm just here making commentary. <laughs> and a lot of it this week. My goodness. <sighs> but I'm just not doing a point and shoot. But if you saw my last video, uh, pardon me, interestingly enough, you would have seen uh, the... Um, sort of the people purchasing coffees for Tim just for hate. Jeez, I need that hate. Okay, let's just get into this because this is long. Uh, so it's called Cedar City, Utah. Here I come. Kingman is not for me. So I did, we didn't even see Kingman. I don't know what happened. So let's find out. We didn't get any footage in Kingman. So I don't know what happened there. He was supposedly off to, to Arizona. Now he's off to Utah. These must be all very close, I'm guessing. All right, 1.25. Let me make me small. We don't need to see my big old red nose that's seemingly not responding to the antibiotics. <laughs> God. All right, Tim, take it away. Hey, everybody. Sarasota, Tim. All right, this is uh, whatever road it is I'm traveling on. I think it's uh, the Arizona 68, and this goes back up to the 40. And towards Kingman. Kingman's only 38 minutes from uh, Laughlin. <clears throat> and my temperature has already gone down one degree. I mean, uh, I took it out of overdrive. I'm on cruise control, pulling this field. Look at that jagged mountain. Isn't that cool? It's a very pretty drive when you drop down. I'm sure the gas is not cheap on this big old Tundra truck. Uh, from the high altitude when you come I'm off the grab my iced tea. Uh, and you get over here to uh, coming into Bullhead City. And my ears are popping big time. But I'm praying and hoping I can find a RV park and some milder temperatures. I don't care that it's 100. I don't care that it's 95. I really don't because that is a significant difference in dry climate that I have no issue with uh, versus 110 or 108. Uh, there's just a big difference once it starts climbing over that 105. Uh, you know, it just gets to a point where, you know, that's hot. Uh, but this, this 100 degrees here is very comfortable to me uh, with, the, uh, with the low humidity. I've already adjusted to it. And being from Florida, I don't have any any problem with that. Yeah, but we have... So I'm just praying I can find us a nice little... Art. It's different <laughs> on the East Coast. It's humid heat. You know, the dry heat's a little bit different. Sometimes, actually, you can take dry heat a little better sometimes. I know when I once was out in uh, parts of Mexico, I could walk around in jeans and it would I somehow could be comfortable, which I could not do here in Virginia Beach. The humidity will make it very uncomfortable very quickly. RV park Oof. that I can uh, roll right up to the road here too, not spend a lot of gas, and just get there. And it's a very mm. quick drive from Kingman into Vegas uh, to pick up this tea at the end of the month. i got to be in this area. So I'm considering Pahrump, but Pahrump is Vegas temperatures. And Vegas, baby, Vegas is hot as uh, doggy stew, man. It's hotter than... Uh, why are you having to stay out this area for a month? Is it because Miss Tammy's coming out this way? Why are you in Florida? <laughs> where your family and your, I don't know where your family are, but your daughter is in Georgia. Why don't you go closer to where your family are? It just seems odd that you're so far from, you know, I thought about just taking a job once outside of Austin, Texas. And uh, when I started to sort of calculate just driving to there and all of the, oh, I just said, no, I don't want to take that position. Thank you. <laughs> it's too far from Virginia. And Hades. 
but uh, Kingman, I've been hearing, it's pretty mild, uh, especially in the wintertime. I mean, look at uh, Flagstaff uh, and Williams up here where the uh, Grand, Grand Canyon is. I mean, they get serious snow. But tell me this ain't cowboy country. Look at these mountains. Man, is this beautiful or what? Look, they're right there in front of me. I just love it. That is very Here's crazy. looking over to the side now. You can tell I'm, uh, I just Googled it. I wish I could just enjoy the scenery for for 10 seconds without Tim moving the camera, which makes me nervous because he's driving this big truck and the camera's, obviously, he's alone in the truck. And, uh, or just him not talking for a moment so I could have just seen the pretty scenery. That'd be nice. I'm already over 2,200 uh, feet and you're only, 50, you're only, there's, uh, you see the casinos way down there. Uh, He's looking at the mountain. That's 500 feet above sea level. We're already 2,200 feet. Now, there's a mountain. I can't pronounce it. I forgot the name of it. Mm. That you can go up to 8,400 feet uh, here in Kingman. I don't know if there's any life up there or RV parks or Walmarts. But uh, in town, <laughs> if the weather's not more than 100, uh, I'll, I'll definitely just move here uh, for the rest. Of Are you trying to get shares in Walmart? What or what or a sponsorship deal? I don't think Walmart does sponsorships like that, and a lot of the sponsorships sometimes are kind of problematic with YouTube. You know, we're not getting like you know sponsorships from you know Colgate or something. <laughs> Smaller companies, you know, YouTube's still fledgling. To the month, and hopefully, I can find some golf courses. But uh, let's just drive on down the road. Keep on going. Road trip, baby. Road trip. Yeah, just past the uh, high elevation sign, 3,571 feet as we come back down the other side of this mountain okay. uh, out of Bullhead City. So, I mean, that's a very fast. You go straight up when you leave there on this uh, uh, Arizona 68. See, I lived in Mexico for seven years. And... Uh... I'm feeling like I'm seeing some of the uh, landscape that I would not be shocked to see in Mexico. It's not dissimilar looking, some of the scrubby brush and stuff um, in certain parts of the country. So I just feel like I'm headed to like Puebla or something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it, this could be a godsend for me, uh, being close to Vegas too. Oh, yeah. And then uh, when she arrives, you know, our, our idea is to, um, you know, get on out of here where it's hot. I'd like to show her around here, but it's going to be too hot. Is to move on up towards the Utah and then Colorado. And those are the two, I think, Ooh. right away. And then after that, all these other states are possible, like Oregon and um, Wyoming, the Dakotas and all that. But we're just beginning summer and you have three, four months of, you know, kicking back and staying in a place. Uh, for a few weeks instead of out burning gas and just getting into a real nice rv park that has all the things that we like to see and shopping and eateries and all that and just live our life and stay out of that that heat uh, just what tammy wants to do stay in an rv park sounds like she's living the glamorous millionaire life that she now has god imagine oh. timmy in the, in the rv he's looking for a cheap Cheap place to put up his RV, everybody. What a shocker. Timmy's out here just talking money and just, you know, I guess he gets lonely. I mean, I live alone. I understand. I've been alone for years now. Um, I get it, I guess. I guess he feels like instead of him talking, he's not talking to anybody. He's talking, you know, to the camera. Um, and I guess he feels as if he's having a conversation, then he knows he's going to upload it. And he'll get some comments and some views and some AdSense money and all this good stuff. So, yeah. We'll be happy just to be out of, you know, hot weather from Florida. And if there's sites to be seen that we can drive to in the truck here and just leave the camper, then we'll do that and, and go off and see places. But you can tell that fogginess you see, that's heat, folks. That is heat. Mm, it's that time of here. year. So we'll get on up the road here a little bit more. And uh, like I said, we'll get the Kingman videos going for you. I uh, will maybe take a tour through a, uh, a couple of RV parks and see if there's a golf course. Uh, I might just do that first. Let's do the priority, right? Got to be golf, baby, golf. Wow, that was quick. I'm already on this, uh, I think it's 93. I just saw a sign that says Kingman, five miles. So we're going to be getting off. This would be a real blessing if I could find 
Walmart, golf course, and an RV park. Uh, Planet <laughs> Fitness would be an extra bonus uh, if I could find one up here, but uh, this is great. I mean, oh, we got our the list there. Says 91. Hold on, where's my list? We've got the we you forgot the Love's truck stop, but we got the RV park, the Walmart, a uh, golf course, and a bonus would be a Planet Fitness. So you would love Virginia Beach, Tim. On my truck right now. I think it was only <laughs> 92 when I left. Uh, oh, yeah. Laughlin. See, Tim, I think we might even have a shopping center that has a Walmart and a Planet Fitness all in the same location. Probably next to an RV park. Oh, it sounds like a dream for you. <laughs> so we will find out. Crush it. Okay, oh. this is Kingman. I just, you know, the road just ends into it. Okay. That's what it looks like at first. And it's 92 degrees. I found out that Kingman is the heart of route or route, however you prefer it, 66. And they have the museum that is associated with route or route, whichever you prefer, 66. So I'm wondering if we're going to get onto route 66 at all, which is, you know, is a pretty famous road in the U.S. Well, that's what Kingman's known for. It's the heart of route 66 or route 66, whichever way you go. Gas isn't cheap. Four nineteen. Well, that's a Shell station. Oh, that's wonder. expensive. Like a dollar more uh, in Virginia. Mm, on that big truck too. An impoverished looking place. <laughs> mm, says Tim, who lives in his definitely in schmancy at this part. Mm -mm. Marijuana. Mm. Mexican food. Marijuana. Man. Hey, there's a uh, TA. I can live there. Mm -mm. All right, now what do I do? I'm back to the freeway again. Oh, boy. I got to pull over here and uh, ask uh, for directions. Where's your map? Well, I can tell you one thing. That you road right here. Tim, does your Tundra truck not have, like, an, a, a car play in it? <laughs> like mine? Because then you just, you know, get out your Google map and just, like, look for, like, High Street or something. I don't know. That's what I did when I went out of town. <laughs> or I had addresses for places. You didn't think to look up RV Park, Kingman, Arizona, and maybe set that as a destination in your GPS? It doesn't sound like a very well-planned trip, Tim. <laughs> I'm confused. I thought you were going to put Walmart in and see where the Walmart was. Some type of Planet Fitness, just any location. Why are you stopping and asking for directions? You've got a GPS. You have an iPhone. <laughs> I mean, if it's just a stretch of legs, say that. Goodness me. Uh was the worst road I've ridden on nuts. in a long time. Uh, this, the slow lane was just, I was bouncing all over the place just in the tundra here. Oh. Horrible. Oh, my goodness. Horrible. Oh, you're a so, snob. In about one mile, turn left onto North 3rd Street. I actually was going to stop there and get some directions. And, and I cannot believe he's, you do not need to stop and get directions. Just put Walmart, Kingman, Arizona into your GPS machine. It will take you to the nearest Walmart. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He's going to drive me nuts on this little trip he's on. Into the TA uh, truck stop because I thought this was the, uh, um, the end of the road. But I guess Kingman's on the other side over there of 40 here. So let's get on over there and see what it's about. Hmm. All right, as we come underneath the 40, uh, this is Kingman. Motel 6 right away. Apologies, Leon. And the administrative building, Mojave County. Mm-hmm. I saw Mojave County. So what does it offer? The police right there watching, make sure you're not speeding, Tim. <laughs> well, it's a little town. If I see a Walmart, I'll be at home. All right, let's keep going straight. Not I mean, obviously, we're seeing a lot of hotels because, look, see, Kingman 66. See, Route 66. But he doesn't know that. <laughs> That's what this, so this town is like a giant, like, um, truck stop area in some ways. It's a town that's really, you know, a lot of vehicles are going to come through here, which is probably why we're seeing a lot of motels and gas stations. Because they're going to have a lot of that type of trucker travel, you know, happening through this town. That's probably where they get a lot of their economy from. Turn here. Just tourist information that way. Terrible. Old Route 66. 
But there's a sign that says Kingman. Let's get up there. Kingman. This guy is like, oh, here we go. Heart of Route 66. You see? Look, I need more than Tim. I did more research than Tim did <laughs> for his video. <laughs> That's terrible, Tim. <sighs> anyway. Okay, now we're going to the historic port. Okay. Well, you know, about time. <laughs> Heart of Route Route 66. Now, I just got an email from my... Uh, At the stop sign, turn right onto North 1st Street. That, then turn the right onto West Andy there. Divine That's Avenue. Pretty. Can we go see the train? The locomotive looked interesting. Like from the old Westy days. But no, Tim got to find a dang Walmart or something. But you could have gotten out and actually walked around that very interesting looking train. Why do we have to spend the time in the car? Why is it that we have to go on all your errands? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was going to be taking me back to where I just came from. Uh, I just got an email from my co-pilot uh, telling me that there's an RV park somewhere around here. I was going to, I just put the address in. Let me get rid of the, uh, okay. yeah, this is just some historic district down through here. It's cute. Oh, it looks very I'm nice. Find an RV park. I'll put that address in of this what John sent me, nice. my co-pilot, and uh, go take a look at that place. So far, I'm not really impressed. Mm. It's a far cry from. Mm. Let's see where he's going to say. I think the town looks very cute. It looks clean. It looks like they've maintained some of the historic areas. I mean, what? it's a little tale somewhere. Tim, what do you expect? Tim is wanting to be like balling Florida style somewhere. You know, East Coast balling. Laughlin and Bullhead City. I understand it's bigger though. No, he wants to get himself to Scott. Well, let's give it a chance. Let's see what what we got here. That's cute. Nothing's open around here. It seems like it's like an old historic district. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way, and let's get some directions to a. Uh, uh, let's let's pull over here and get some directions to this RV park that John sent me. All right, everybody. I just stopped at this really nice uh, RV park here and. Uh, Talk to the manager lady here. She was very, very nice. But because it's a nice RV park, uh, there are no openings for a few weeks, mm. uh, likely till the end of the month. And what I like about Miss Vicky here is mm. she doesn't rent out any spaces until the people are literally pulling out. Because what's happened is people say they're going to leave at a certain date, and then something happens. They change their mind. They want to stay longer, and you know things like that. And uh, they have a lot of I don't know traveling nurses and workers mm. uh, that are out here doing this. Uh, lifestyle and it's not a huge place so you don't have you know a lot of turnover in fact i think this is uh, pretty and that's something i even considered at one point doing was um getting an rv selling the condo and traveling and doing that but obviously i have june bug the air conditioning would need to be running in the day in the rv park you know, I, the, you have to do a lot of maintenance on these things. So, but there are a lot of young nurses that, because uh, it's getting more difficult to get decent price short term rentals. I mean, you pay a lot of money to be a, you know, rent a place for three months. It's, it's very expensive. And most of the contracts are 13 weeks. That's kind of standard in the industry. So, in order not to be having to constantly, you know, pack, unpack, move, you know, it probably makes a lot of sense. And I know there's people that do it for years that they make very good money and they travel as an RN and they do it through RVs and campers and trailers to save as much money as possible. So, so yeah, that's not unheard of, but they're doing work, Tim. Okay. So don't be complaining that the nurses are taking up a spot. Okay. You can park in anywhere pretty much it right here. And um, so she gave me uh, names of two other RV parks in the area that I will uh, go and visit and see what they got going on. They definitely confirm the temperatures are much milder here uh, than in Laughlin. Uh, they have a nice pool uh, right over there. And it's a modest place. You know, it's not a high-end place. It was $600 a month. Uh, the weekly rate... Tim, 
I want to remind you about a year ago, okay, maybe less than that, you were giving us a tour of the wolf pup that you had in the back of somebody's yard, okay? And now you've got all these airs about you. So hang in, hang in there, sweetheart. Don't <laughs> you got to hang that up? <laughs> I'm getting tired. It was actually a uh, hundred dollars oh. more than uh, the Riverside. Hmm. So that was surprising to me. Well, no. So you know, but the temperatures, she says, are definitely. I mean, this is not Cedar City, Utah, or you know, way up there where it's much cooler, but it is milder. She said. So I'm going to pull into this gas station and she gave me an address and put it in my phone and go visit the next one and see what, and it's supposed to be a, I think a golf course that's right across. Oh, we just going to have right you here, in front of a uh, pub unnecessarily. Saying. So I'm going to um, uh -uh. go and check that out. <laughs> okay. This next uh, location uh, required me to get on I-40. And go about three more. My guy thought you were going to hit him, Tim, with your Tundra truck. He didn't know what was going on. He was just getting Tim's errands. I mean, I guess, you know, oh, I should be just filming my errands for the day. I don't think anybody would find it very exciting. Miles and get off. So it's about six minutes away from that location in Kingman. I suppose all of this area is Kingman. I think she said these are more into uh, in town of Kingman. Maybe that area I got off was sort of the outskirts so we'll find out but i did find out like i said in the other clip that there is a walmart there is a planet fitness and there is golf but so far mm. there's no vacancies <laughs> not oh. that place so let's get on up here this guy's dragging oh, it hit all, all of, of his, weight i guess i see it hit all of his check marks as far as all the needed facilities the rv park the walmart the planet fitness um, they just need a love's truck stop. <laughs> other people have told me off for other other chains because I, I said about I'm more familiar with Wall Wall. Let's see these what the days. altitude says here, if anything. Yeah, look, you can just see the heat. It's so foggy. Stockton Mill Road Hospital. Hey, there's golf. Golf, baby, golf. Oh, these two. Oh, look at them running around their golf carts. Place is busy. Oh, I don't know what the laws are about holding cell phones and driving. But I know in Virginia, if the police saw you doing that malarkey, you'd be in trouble. You get a very big fine, more than you probably make in a day on YouTube. So, I it's just so dangerous for you to be filming and doing this. Is there not a way that you can just? I guess you put that this is the phone, but it's not really to put the camera. You need to get like, there's ones that you can just kind of stick and do something. So you can just let the camera be in one position at the front of the car without you doing all this. To... <laughs> here's, here's the other part of it. Look at these fine looking homes. Oh, yeah. No, here's Look at that. Get again. me out there. Look at all these golf carts I see buzzing around over there. Golf, baby. Oh, gosh. Nobody wants to watch you play golf or pay for your golf. And we know you are just jonesing for a house along a golf course. This is Tim wants to be here. Even though Tim didn't do a lot to work towards this lifestyle because he was just out selling coupons for a couple of hours a day, a couple of times a week, making a couple of hundred bucks here and there. You know, he wants this retirement, though. And he's got his. I'm sure his eyes on the prize with Miss Tammy's inheritance from her deceased husband. Oh yeah, come on, man. In two miles, take exit 53 onto Historic Route 66. And you then don't find Historic down. Route 66. See those golf carts? Keep it in the middle, buddy. Keep it in the middle. Keep it in the grass. <laughs> oh, come on, good Lord, bless me, man. Find me something over here. Oh, now we're talking. This is like city five. Look at this airport. Look at that. All that Ross dress for less or shopping, apartments, condos. Man, I thought Kingman was like some country bumpkin town. This is the real deal. I see green grass. I see another golf course, I think. Something green over there. Get out of my truck. Uh, over there where these trees are. The truck is trying to do its job, taking goods to places. You're doing nothing other than blocking the trucks from doing their job, Tim. Maybe, maybe it was fortuitous and I wasn't supposed to stay back there. Well, they were sure proud of the prices, except the monthly. The monthly was dirt cheap. But if you don't want to stay there for a month, uh, they're getting their money. $300 a week. 
it's like 50 or 60 dollars a day i mean come on that's expensive oh for goodness so sake. oh gosh hold on hold on hold on we're gonna have to do it guys i'm sorry i'm sorry we're just gonna have to i'm sorry no no I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry maggot. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, Tim, you know what that is. Every time you complain about the cost of something. But the only coffee donations you had were two cups of coffee that were donated through trying just to give you some shame. <laughs> Nobody's come through with that, that umbrella yet, but we're going to keep an, a watch for it. Yeah. This is uh this will work. This will definitely work. The Harley dealer. Take exit 53 onto historic Route 66. Right. Andy Divine Avenue. Then right. turn right onto East Andy Divine Avenue. All right, we're gonna go this way. That way. I mean, just a little bit ago, this guy was driving a sedan car, and then he went to like I think an SUV, a Rav4, and now he's got the Tundra truck. Just you know, and we talked about in the last video kind of how much money he could potentially make in a month, and it's a decent, it's a decent salary. It's like you know, seventy some thousand a year. It's more than he ever probably made when he was working. What? All right, so this is the place here. All I'm, right. just, I'm just going to drive through uh, quickly. I tell you one thing I like is he got a, a a concrete paved road. It's not dirt on the spots. Hey, look, there's my camper, but it's at the Rockwood. Same exact company. Mm. Well, it's, you know, different camper, but made, that's a Forest River product. So these are the spaces, you know, they're jammed in there. Place definitely is uh, full. Doesn't look like there's any availability. Why did you not call ahead? People are working, traveling nurses, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Gosh. Ugh, not those people with those prison jobs. Not those nurses. <laughs> God, those people must be terrible. They must make reaction videos to my stuff. <laughs> it's twice now. You've complained about the nurses who are trying to perform a job, okay? There's a lot, there's a lot you know, it's not easy to get these accommodations. I know because I traveled for two years as an RN. And I thought about going back out and doing it again. I mean, I really seriously thought that I wanted to sell the condo and get an RV, but I'm trying to figure out how do I make sure that Junebug is comfortable throughout the day. So it's, you know, it just, you know, and then I said, no, let's just finish grad school. <laughs> if I start traveling, I'll never get grad school finished. Not Well, you know, never know. I don't know. It just, it wasn't seeming, wasn't where I wanted to be at the moment. Not with this nose thing going on. I can't travel anywhere. Anyway. Living in them, full timers, traveling. <laughs> it's been a, a terrible little area here. There's a school bus depot there. Uh, but it is, like she said, in town, which I don't mind. I mean, right outside the door here is all the, the shopping and stuff. Let's go in there and talk to them. They got a couple spaces right here. Those don't look too bad. There's some shade. I mean, I'm just trying to lay up somewhere until uh, Miss T gets here. Then we're going to go down the road. Up the road, I should say. Mm. So let me throw it in over here. You seen the whole thing? See what they got. Well, that didn't take long. Uh, nice lady in there. She didn't let me even finish my little spiel. We're full. <laughs> we got nothing for you here, pal. Uh, all right. So uh, on to the next one. Turn right onto airport. Well, at least one good thing is all three is all of these turn people? right. At least all of these. Uh, I mean, it's nice that he's gone to see to see if he actually likes the area first. I mean, I would certainly want to see something first. But before that, I maybe have wanted to call to see if there were any vacancies at, before I headed out on a road trip, especially for something like this. Maybe because he got so used to the vacancies in Laughlin that he thought it would be the same here. But obviously... This is where people go because they know it's a little bit cooler. So it looks popular. Um, RV parks uh, are within minutes of each other. They're kind of all together. People live in RV parks. Like Bullhead now, City, there's a lot of them over there. I mean, heck, I don't know. Might end up staying where I'm at or maybe consider going to Pahrump. Uh, that's another place, but it's not much. It's not much cooler. It's a little cooler in the mornings uh, than Laughlin. At the stop sign, turn right onto Harrison Street. 
So this is definitely uh, western and lots of desert brown dirt. It doesn't have the beautiful western look. It's it's old, old houses, old. In one mile, turn right onto Airway Avenue. All right, so let's get up there and find out what this place is about. <laughs> I, I guess like that's an I'm RV. In, uh, for a moment, I just feel like I'm sitting in the car with Tim, you know, in the truck, headed off to another RV park. I mean, like I said, it's good that he's checking the town. I may have called ahead of time just to see if there were any vacancies, uh, if that's really the goal, uh, rather than just blowing my gas around. Um, but, you know, he's making all this ad sense. <laughs> Dealer there. Yeah, sales and service. I'm supposed to turn right up here. I was worried that it was this one back behind me about a half a mile. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't even have pulled in there. Turn right, then turn left. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, this is it. And there's the showers and stuff. Uh, Vicky was right that she would only the recommend. is on your left. Zuni Village RV Park. She uh, said these are, the only, these are the only two I would recommend. And uh, I guess because those are the only three. Decent ones in town. These people have been here a while. Look at this. They've been living here a long time. Look at all the dust on the roof of that camper, that desert dune dust. It's sand. Funny living here. Uh, there's a big one there with triple slides. Find out where the office is. A lot of people are living in RVs now because rental homes are so expensive. But Tim's got a dream. He's going to get a house on a golf course. I, I see his dreams. House on the golf course. And his RV in the driveway because he can't take any lower standard than that because he's a high standard guy. He's got to have the hundred dollar golf shorts and shirts and expensive golf shoes and three hundred dollar sunglasses and all this stuff. Doesn't look like there's any openings with these over here. That shaded area right there yes, we'll wouldn't be so bad. All these spots in here. Yeah, but they may be already booked. That's what you call a park model. Might even be the uh, manager of the place. Well, here's some parking. Let's go in. I think they're full. And check it out. There's a swimming pool. No one's Got a there. swimming pool. <laughs> hey, I'm just looking for a layup, folks, and milder temperatures. It's 95 degrees. It's uh, supposed to be 110 today in uh, Laughlin. All right. This is like the twilight zone, but I know there is a reason. I am not supposed to be anywhere around here because obviously the good lord is showing me that this is a no 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 now it wasn't that they were full it's they are a not them they were nice people and they're very nice in fact they were christian people but they have a greedy corporate it's like a, a modest place i don't want to be crude but all of these places i just visited are nothing that miss t is going to be excited about this is just a layup for me i'm looking for something cheap near golf and no more than 100 degrees. I'll take it. 95 degrees. They have this corporate owner in here. I keep pointing over there. <laughs> that they think they got something like a gold mine here. They want to keep your deposit of 200. I go, why do you need a deposit? It's a dirt lot. It's a space. What do you need? What do you need a $200 deposit for? Well, in case you make off without paying your electric. Uh, I'm like, well, how much is electric? They're telling me that they think the electric would be 96, 100 bucks to $160 a month. If that was true, there's no way that Riverside would be giving me free electric for $200 a week. $220. Well, a Riverside is trying to have you there because they know at this moment in time, it's so hot, most people aren't going there. They're trying to be here. So this place obviously knows what their value is. Here's Tim. Complaining about the money again. My goodness. Most of the money that you're getting nowadays is coming through YouTube AdSense and your coffee donations, Tim. It's far more than you get through your social security. Oh, gosh. You don't even... I can't with you, Tim. No way in hay. So um, that's a 13 cents a kilowatt, but who knows how fast that meter's spinning. It must be like a fan. Uh, and then if you leave before, uh, you don't get your, you got to stay two months to get their monthly rate, which is just below 500. So that's a cheap rate, but you got to be here two months. I said, I don't need to be here two months. 
They want $44 a day. Right, because they can get people who are travel nurses who will come up with their RVs and they'll be there for 13 weeks. So they don't want to be turning and burning people through this place. They want it more like a longer stay. So I'm going to listen to Tim just moan and complain. Oh, my goodness. You're going to put me in a bad mood. <laughs> times seven times 31, which is like, I can't even do the math. It's so high. It's not even funny. All right. So, and it's a. We got to bring this out because I just, you know. This is just, I've got. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bagot. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Keep going, Tim. Mm, I got to be careful what I say. It's not nice. It's not a nice place. So, uh, I'm out. I'm out. I mean, they got a, they got the Walmart. They got golf courses. They've got uh, the Planet Fitness. They got. It looks like some nice places off the 40 there. Tim, Tim is just looking for somewhere at 500 bucks a month. All you can use electricity, pool, all the amenities, you know, everything. And he only wants to pay 500 a month because that's like his going standard rate for everything. Because that's what he paid for his room. So anything past 500, he's having a heart attack. Tim, you wouldn't even, if you had to not be in the RV and you were just in an apartment, you'd have a heart attack. And you're talking about these houses you want to buy and you won't pay you won't pop mm, no you have no idea what it's like to own and run a home shopping and eateries and you know nice nice to live even maybe but these these rv parks first of all they're tiny and they're not resorts they're not resorts so i'm going to go look uh again at the um it's not gonna be any cooler up there though in perump uh, nevada I might just stay where I'm at, just grit and bear it, because this is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I just need to get her here, mm. pick her up, and get the heck out of this state, I guess. What a joke. So um, I can go to Prescott and things like that and probably find a nice place and definitely cooler temperatures and beautiful. I think I'll look into that right now. I'll search it. All right. Well, that worked out to my advantage. Wow. What a wreck. You see that? Look at that. Uh, I made a couple of calls over to Senior City, Utah, Cedar City, and I got two RV parks, and I'm going to go to one of them. One of them is my uh, subscriber. She runs the place, mm. and she's from Florida. Mm. They uh, they blew out after the last hurricane that wiped out uh, the west coast of Florida down there. At um, Please, no. Do, do you really want this grifter in your RV park? Oh, God. Ugh, just what we need. And it's, you know, Tim is going to be looking for a sweet little thing over at the RV park. Nope, my dog is really snoring over there. <laughs> Port Ritchie, Fort Myers. Pe not Port Ritchie, but uh, that's on the East Coast, I think. Um, what's that called? Fort Myers area Alone. where they got leveled, that last one. And so they came here, and she's working for a corporation that owns these RV parks. This is the worst of being in an RV right now. I'm going to make a video on it. The good days are over. Just like all these companies are buying all of these homes for, um, for rentals and Airbnb, Blackwell, whatever they're called. Oh, don't even get me started. This country, whatever happened, man. So they're buying. I don't know. Maybe we need to ask the older generations or generations and find out, you know, what we voted on. <laughs> I'm just saying, Tim, if things change. Okay. So, yeah, there's, there's a big shift in America. It's very, um, you know, that's kind of how it's shifted as businesses. It's not mom and pop stuff anymore. Getting a good deal. You know, these corporations are even buying doctors practices, vet businesses, you name it. One of these private equity firms or something probably owns something that you go to. So yeah, we've been throwing the money for decades at wall street because they got rid of the pensions. And so my generation, generation X has been the first to, fully be tested on the idea of a 401k, which is seemingly disastrous. But it has meant that the money that traditionally put it gone to pensions and maybe invested in different ways, you have people now, uh, you know, bringing more and more money over to these uh, stock market, play, uh, to Wall Street and so forth. So I don't know. It's just it's business of the United States. Don't complain about it. You're part of it.
opening up all the mom and pop RV parks, making them offers they can't refuse. People are taking the money. Well, you know, you can't really blame them. And then they want to go in and they want to charge double what you used to pay to, st to stay in an RV. Well, it's a matter but I was able to find uh, two over in uh, Cedar City that are uh, pretty good. So I'm going to be going to one of them and I'm going to leave next week. Uh, yes. Welcome to the, to the real world, uh, Tim. And this is why it's not good to encourage people to take social security at 62 because you're already complaining and you're going to be on that SS for an extended period of time and only getting cost COLA adjustments. So, you know, you already know this mate. Ah, she really is on a complaint today. She, I'm a, <laughs> I haven't been able to work, Tim, since the end of January because I have an infection that just will not go away. Okay? I want to get back to work. <laughs> and here you are just, just, you know, it's the way it is. Uh, before Ugh. my rent is up on Monday, I've got the best deal in the world where I'm at. Well, stay but there. it's too hot and I want to play golf. And I just can't deal with every day from now on is going to be triple digits. And Utah is. Well, you know what? Why don't you work it out? If it's less expensive to stay at the RV pocket you're at and you just need to get the gumption to get up at an earlier time to go and enjoy your golf. So being there and paying a little bit more for that tea time, you know, if you weren't so trying to be cheaping it out the whole way. And I understand I'm a very frugal person. Okay. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. I don't, you know, just uh, promise you, single woman life, owning a property, and even with the changing economy, it's not, it's, it's, it's tough times, Tim. You know, and you're acting like all brand new out here. <laughs> you've just, you're lucky you've got what you've got, mate. I mean, you've come from really having, to, it's just, you didn't work for all this your life. Not really. You barely worked, you said. And now you're trying to just, you know, get the YouTube gravy train. Choo-choo. No. So it'll be nice to feel good weather again. That'll put you in a good mood. Even though it's not going to be in the middle of a, a casino place and all this, uh, you know, amenities. And uh, even the pool I use, I go over there, but it's too hot. Just, so I guess I'm not going to miss that. Just go earlier in the day. Just change it. That's what people do. They just do stuff earlier. They get up earlier. They go to bed earlier. Oh, I'd like to go to bed early too. <laughs> I don't think they have pools either one of these places. Oh, but God. there's a creek. Uh, the creek, good for you. <laughs> Remember on Caddyshack? The guy goes, you got a pool over there? He goes, no, we got a pool and a pond. Pond be good for you. <laughs> oh, God. So um, oh. that's going to be coming up. But right now I got to get to the golf course. I forget a sandwich. And I'll, I'll make a little video of it. Try out my new swing, my new strategies, and crush it. No. No, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, my goodness. I hope this thing stayed up. All of my neighbors are getting on their Wi-Fi at this hour. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me get to the next one. <laughs> I have nothing to say about, you know, the complaint fest. Oh, this, you know, is that what I need to do is have a channel where I just complain about what's going on in my life five times a day? <laughs> Who want to watch that? All right, guys, if you did like this type of content, hit the subscribes, leave me a camper van or some type of camper or something to do with a camper. That would be great. All right. And then, of course, I always want to thank my lovely, lovely supporters of this channel. You are putting up with me doing Tim this week, and some people are confused about my content, and I'm not surprised because I'm kind of confused too at this point. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.